Our first guest is the co-anchor of Good Morning America and the executive producer of the new TV movie, Mahalia. Please welcome Robin Roberts. You just like dance on with Twitch. It's, just, it's so odd just to be like not dancing with you in well, you, Twitch. I, you I can. Really... We can. We can watch you dance right now and Twitch can dance next to you. Look, you're dancing together right now. Yeah. I'm, re I'm really good. I'm a really good dancer when I'm sitting. It's yeah. just when I'm... Yeah. We're all oh, at our I best. Feel like I'm Yes, now you feel like you're here. Well, actually, you were here, the last time I saw you, you were here just, just a couple of weeks before lockdown. Yes, I was there for the Oscars, came by to see you as I often do, and I remember as a joke, you gave me some masks because it was right before everything was, was about to happen. And yes, right, and I gotta tell you, that no longer exists. I wore it so much because I didn't have any masks when this first happened. I had to rely on the on what you gave me, so thank you very much. But who knew? I mean, who knew that it was gonna be on as long as it was and still going on yeah. for so many people? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, it was kind of kind of a joke to give you that mask and uh, I'm glad it came in handy. Um, how is reporting for you in 2021? Are you feeling hope hopeful? What's happening? Oh yeah, it's a big exhale. You know, 2020 was, was so um, incredibly difficult for everyone. And then the first month, I, I call January of 21 the 13th month of 2020 with what was going on at the beginning of the year. Um, but now I just feel overall, we're all just kind of taking a deep breath. Yeah, yeah. You, and are you, because you are a cancer survivor, um, are you, have you gotten a vaccination? Are you going to get vaccinated? I am a cancer thriver, that's what I like to say. Not just a survivor, but a cancer thriver. And I am just so grateful. Yes, in fact, this week I got my second shot. Um, I know that you can relate. I had a few, not any, not any side effects, just a little fatigue and that, but I'm so happy to have that behind me. And in fact, um, I can't really announce too much about it, but I'm working on a podcast Ellen, to help people. There are a lot of stories out there and a lot of misinformation about the vaccines. And so I'm talking with experts and getting people the proper information so they can make informed decisions for themselves. But yes, I have been vaccinated. I am happy to hear it. I'm happy to hear it. Now, did you do the single shot Johnson Johnson or Moderna or Pfizer? I wanted the one and done. I was trying to hold out for J&J. &J. Yeah. You know, I just wanted one and done, but I had the uh, Pfizer. I had the two shots. What about you? I haven't had any. I haven't had anything yet. Oh. I, I still have my antibodies. I'm still hanging in there. So, and I also don't want to get it before anybody else. I want everybody else to get what they need first. I'm not, I'm not of age to, to ask for that, and I want people to get theirs. Good for you. Good yeah. For you. I, I clicked off a lot of the boxes. Yeah. Um, yes, you did. Two-time cancer driver, uh, African-American. Uh, uh, I won't give my age, <clears throat> but yes. Yeah. I, uh, no, no. Off a lot you, of those boxes. No, you definitely, definitely uh, should be in that category of, of getting the vaccination. You um, recently had some big interviews, and, uh, and you're doing great, so congratulations on uh, everything that you, you've been doing. Um, do you remember your first big interview? Why are you asking me that, Ellen? <laughs> you know something? Might, might you... be a good story, I'm just asking. <laughs> okay. Um, all the years I've known you, I've never shared this, but my first big interview, I was still in college, and I was quite nervous, and I... Um, how, how can I make this? Um, I, uh, I wet myself. You spilled water There's on no... yourself? Uh, uh, I, oh, yes, okay, I'll go with that. I, I wish, it, no, it was, uh, it was like clean up on aisle one um, oh. after I did the, uh, the big interview. Wait. I don't even remember who the interview was with. Yes, I just, I was nervous. I was still in college. I was really wanting to make an impression. And I think I really did. Yes. <laughs> remembering it after all this time, but yes, that's, um, I what? can't believe that I've gone this long with knowing you and being on your show and haven't shared it until now. I'm, I'm glad I asked the question. It's, uh, don't you feel, don't you feel free now? Don't you feel like we're closer? I feel relieved. Okay. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Now, wait, did the person know that you wet yourself? Did they see it? Was it was pretty, uh, you know, I, no follow-ups. There will be no follow-ups uh, to this, um, it was, it was pretty hard not to notice, let's put it that way. Um, 
<laughs> well, I think that that's hilarious. See, that's here's a, that's the lesson: is that we always make something bigger than it is in our minds. Like something yeah. is is so like, oh, I have to do so well, and I have to be perfect here. And it's and look, you look back, and you're like, no, I didn't need to no. wet myself at all. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to keep repeating it. What? It's really that, okay. Repeat that you wet yourself, or what? Repeat that. Okay. Um, what's happening with you're on ABC? How come you're not hosting Jeopardy? Everybody is hosting Jeopardy. Oh, uh, first of all, boy, Alex Trebek. I uh, just enjoyed meeting him over the years. I mean, he's just—he was just um, in, in so many ways, um, just a beacon of hope. And, and all that. But I knew that I was not destined to be a guest host because I was on Celebrity Jeopardy. I was so bad as a, as a guest that I think that if I had been on the list that they, anybody who was, remembers me from being on the celebrity show, they knew that. Yeah. I, but I can test it, was, it was the buzzer. I knew the answers, <laughs> it was just I couldn't. Right. That's my story. Stick right. To it. Stick to it. Yes. <laughs> All right, Robin, we have to take a break and uh, we'll be more, uh, uh, more with Robin after this. We're back with Robin Roberts. That's from her new Lifetime movie that uh, she produced, Mahalia. Tell everybody about Mahalia. Oh, my goodness. First of all, that was Danielle Brooks playing Mahalia Jackson. And Danielle Brooks, she just brought it. Mahalia Jackson, the queen of gospel music. She was born in New Orleans. She was a phenomenal singer, and more than that, she was involved in the civil rights movement. She was the one, the March on Washington, because she sang a song. Of course, Dr. King was giving a speech, and when Dr. King was giving a speech, and it was going on and on and on, and she was the one that shouted, tell him about the dream, Martin. Tell him about the dream. And that's when he went into his I Have a Dream speech, which is what we really remember from the March on Washington. But she was just a force of nature. And Danielle Brooks, I know she's going to be on your show. Yep. She is phenomenal. She, I mean, when, I have to admit, when Kenny Leon, who is our director, when um, he came on board and he said, Danielle Brooks, I'm like, um, you're talking about Tasty? Tasty from Orange is the New Black? <laughs> and he had worked with her on Broadway, and she, he knew what she could do. And I cannot wait for people to see this. They're going to be truly moved. I know they will. Yeah, I can't wait. She's on in a couple of weeks, so yeah. amazing. Great story, and, and the movie looks amazing. Um, I learned, so now I've learned two things about you today. The, the first, which we won't, I won't bring up again, you know, the... <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, the, the wedding yourself. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then also that you have a fuzzy slipper collection. You collect fuzzy slippers. Oh, yes, I do. I, uh, in fact, I have, oh, uh, right here, I have my, these are my foggy slippers right here. These are uh, from um, Oprah's Favorite Things. Uh, ooh, 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 kind of, I shouldn't really have put them that way. But even on the set, not, not many people know this, but at Good Morning America, for the first hour, you know, we're behind the desk. So I could be wearing anything from the waist down. And, oh, oh, there you have it. I need to get me some fuzzy slippers. They look very comfortable. I'm going to start, I'm gonna start doing it, too. Hey, Robin, it's great seeing you, great talking to you. I can't wait to see you in person soon. And uh, say hi to Amber. My love to, to, to you. Stay safe. Same to you. All right. Love you, Elle. Love you, too. I'm so proud of you. Robin Roberts, you, too. Oh. Robin Roberts Presents Mahalia premieres April 3rd at 8 on Lifetime. Check it out, everybody. We'll be right back.